This video is a video walkthrough of Feed Reader for Windows Phone 7. Notice my new live tile. This is coming in the Mango release. Um, it's just a beta right now and notice on the back side it shows you your unread count and the last time it sunk. It will use a background agent to sync your unread count every half an hour. Let me launch the app. Now once inside the app I've left all the settings as their defaults. Um, notice the first two icons are Twitter and Podcast. Those are built in, essentially built in apps. There's a full Twitter client and a, um, an app to get podcasts. Some users may not care to have them at the top of the list, so the first thing I want to show is how to hide those or move them around. Um, down here on the general settings page, where would you like the Twitter icon to be? Um, you can see the default is top of the home page. I'll make that bottom of the home page. And where would you like the podcast icon to be? I'll make that the other page. I'll save that here, and you'll see that podcast is now in the others, and you'll see Twitter now at the bottom of the feed page. I want to show a little bit of feed management, which might be one of the first things you do coming into this app. So clicking, uh, actually I'll hit the dot, dot, dot. You can see I have add new feeds and refresh at the bottom. Add feed. Uh, I'll do a search. How about search for gaming? Hit the search bar, and a few feeds come up here. So let me click on this guy here. It gives me a chance to rename this feed. And let me I'll wipe it all out. Let's see, IGN Gaming. Save it. Now, when I come back here, it now shows a check mark on the new feed I'm subscribed to. I'll hit the back button back to my page and it'll refresh automatically knowing something new has changed. Give it a second, I don't have the best Wi-Fi where I'm at. There we go. So we can see IGN Gaming. Click into that feed and now I can move this feed into a folder or change its name. Down here I can move the feed, rename feed, unsubscribe the feed. Let's move it. Create a. You can pick one of the existing folders or type a new one. Gaming, save. Give that a second. Okay, it's been moved. Hit the back. It'll sync again, and I'll now see the new gaming folder here. A few options on this home screen are expand folders to show feeds. If I hit that, um, now when I click on a folder, instead of getting a list of feeds, it'll actually take me to the full um, list of feed items inside of that folder. And if I hit um, a feed, it'll take me right to that feed. There's another option in here, hide feeds with no new items. Notice here, Engadget German doesn't have any new items in it. And if I scroll to the bottom, um, well, that's the only, it's only a couple here without any feeds. Um, hide feeds with no new items, those won't show up. And I'll collapse those folders back. And clicking on a folder will actually take you where you can get to the all or each individual feed from there. You go back to the home page. Click on settings. I'm going to walk through a few of these settings. This is where you add um, or change your Google account. You can send feedback. Uh, please do. I love to get feedback. I love feature requests. I try to get as many in as I can. That makes sense. Um, rate this app. We'll take you to the marketplace to rate it. Recommend this app. We'll send an email to a friend with a deep link to the app so that on their phone they can click the link and get the app. And Reset All will um, clear out all the cache data. In general here, we've got lock orientation at portrait mode. I usually keep that on, so if you're reading and you accidentally turn your phone slightly, it won't rotate on you. There's a white theme support. If you click on that, you'll have to restart the app to get white theme. Um, make all calls with secure HTTPS. All um, credential and login calls to Google Reader will use HTTPS regardless, but if you turn on HTTPS here, it will make every single call like, to get your feeds and your accounts and whatnot. Um, secure. It'll slow down the calls a little bit. I've had this ask from um, a couple of users in China. The next tab at the top um, has uh, hide feeds with no new items. I already showed that from the home menu. There was a you know the, the quick 
way to get that uh, disable mark all red confirmation I'll show you that one really quick and this auto back with empty folder let me back out of here I'll go into um, this gadgets one and if I go into a feed and mark all red I'll get a it'll ask me to confirm are you sure you want to mark all these yes um, and then if I go to this one mark all these ones as red when I come back notice to the empty folder if I would have had the go back on an empty folder it would have automatically gone back two pages right after I clicked mark all red uh, speeds up reading if you're into reading a lot of news and go into the next tab here um, did I cover everything? Auto back and disable. I usually leave disable on. Um, offline mode um, will, like it says here, turning offline mode on will cause startup to take a little longer because it's going to download and cache all the feeds. So if you sync all your feeds and um, are suddenly disconnected, you will still be able to read anything. Images won't show up since they are not cached, but you'll be able to read everything and items will get um, stored as read if you've read them and the next time you sync it'll sync up back with Google Reader. Do not sync a startup um, just like it sounds when you start the app nothing will happen I'll show that real quickly launch the app and no syncing is taking place but you can at that point you can manually sync. That's good to use in combination with offline mode um, Notice I have offline mode now, so it's going to take a little bit longer as it pulls down all these feeds, and you can see the, the state it's in. But then once the feeds are downloaded, you will be able to quickly get to them. I'll let that finish before I move on. Okay, and also while it's downloading, if you've seen your, your feed already read, it's, it's all right. You should be able to go in and start clicking on them. So I'll click to Engadget, for example, and... Here we can see I've already clicked in here. Okay, and I'm gonna go turn off online mode. Actually, I'll, I'll leave it on. It shouldn't matter. Um, hide unread count will just put a little a little dot using your accent color. Some users didn't want to see their unread count. Turn that back on. Hide un all unread items. Um, when you're in a feed, go to the gadget again. When you're in a feed, there's a there's an all tab here, and that will go get all the items, not just your unread items. Now, sometimes as you're scrolling down your list, I found some users have found you can accidentally cause it to move over to the next tab. So I added the hide all items, which is right here hide all pivots so there's two ways to get to it one from the settings and one from one from here so hide all pivot pivot will change will take effect the next time you view this page hit ok go back go back to engadget and the all pivot is now gone let me go back to settings by the way um, depending on where you hit settings from I'll try to load the correct um, settings page for you. So I was in the feed list and here you can see maximum unread items to download per feed. I personally set mine to unlimited um, and the default is 50. Number of all feed items to download, default is 50. You can go up to 200. Uh, you can adjust your font size and the number of items, to, detail items to show. I, I usually hit the maximum of six. Um, I've also got a hide a feed list page if you want to skip that page altogether, I'll show you what that looks like. Hide feed list, hit save, hit back. Now when I click on Engadget, I skip that page altogether and go right here. Go back, I will um, go back in here. I'm going to turn back my unread count back on. Bring back my feed list page. You can also reverse the sorting and hide images in the list if you don't want to see this. Save it, go to Engadget, and now you'll see six lines of de detail. Um, I, I find the six lines I can actually read almost everything I I want to um, without having to click into the, the feed as often. Now clicking into a feed item, I've got two views here. This one is called the quick view. 
uh, where you can swipe left and right. I, I really like this view. Um, the one issue is this this is um, the data is all text. It's not HTML data because uh, I can't use the HTML control and be able to flick on top of it. So if there's links in here, they won't show up. Images, uh, I always show the first image at the top and then any extra images will get shown at the bottom. Um, so if you want to change views, just change view to HTML view. This will tell me that I have to come back into this page. So let me back out, come in, and now you can see I've got some links in here, more links at the bottom, and but I can no longer swipe left and right, so I have to use the bottom right and left. Um, let me switch it back to quick view. Okay, back. Um, when you're on the list view here as well, if you hold down an if you hold down an item, you can mark the item as red, mark everything above as red. So if you're reading and you're only halfway done through the list and you have to leave, um, you can mark them all as red. Let me hit that. Okay, so all these items above here are now marked as red. And then when I come back, I can just see the new stuff. There's a few other features in there. Um, like, let me hit that again. Starring an item, sharing, send to Instapaper, send to read it later. There you can successfully save to read it later. You can also bring up um, the checkboxes so you can select a couple different items. And then whatever you do down here will be applied to all those items. Star the item, uh, share it, mark them as read, send them all to Instapaper, read it later, email them, etc. Let me back out of there. You can hit the back button to get out of that mode. You can also hit the left bar here, and that'll bring up that mode as well. Now, clicking on an item, feed item, this one, will bring me back to my quick view. And at the top are little buttons. Um, there's a star button, so I just share, start this item. If I go, I can share this item, or I can do a couple. Uh, um, entries I can do share and a star on this one item. Um, go to the next one. I'll, I'll, I'll like this item. Notice now as I go back, you can see the highlighted buttons here on what I've done. So I've started this one, and you can actually use Google tagging as well. So I can tag this item here, um, tag that with gaming. You can see other tags I've used before. Save it. And now there's a list here. You can see tags, tech, gaming. When I hit it, I can see previous tags I've used as well. Now down here, um, we've got open an IE. Um, you can sh share share your item here, email it, SMS text it, tweet it, send it to your Facebook status, send it to Instapaper, read it later. And then right here is a quick button, this Twitter, Twitter button here. That's configurable. If I go back to settings, the bottom here um, is the send to... Pick your favorite item to have quick access. Open an IE, send to Twitter, Facebook. Let me change it to Facebook and save it. And you can see it's now, it'll now say Facebook in here. If I go back into settings, there's a few other settings. Here's where you can change your view from quick view to HTML view. Again, I sh that's just another way to do it. You can change the font size for your HTML view. You can turn the theming off. Theming will make it a back black round with a white text, uh, whereas it's normally a white background. You can play articles um, audibly, and you can pick the language. So if you want all your articles read back to you in French or German, or you're subscribed to um, a different language feed, you can pick a different, you can pick your native language here. Over here are your uh, Instapaper and Read It Later accounts to set up, and here's some Twitter settings. Uh, let me hit back. The nice thing about this auto play, play audio mode is as it reads you one item, as soon as it's done, it'll automatically move to the next item and read it to you as well. I find it great when in a car or doing work around the house, I can just have my phone near me. I don't have to look and I, it'll read its news to me. So these are a few of the settings that I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you for checking out Feed Reader. I hope you enjoy it. Please send me any feedback if you have any. Um, I always love to hear it. I, my users have given me uh, just amazing ideas that I've um, made the app just way better than I could have on my own. So thank you.